Don't hope so. Um, Callum Hudson Odoi is still out, and we are a bit in doubt with Romelu and Hakim Ziyech. So we need to see they were not in training yesterday due to little problems, but we hope to have them in training. But we need a test and confirmation from, from training at 3 o'clock if they are available tomorrow. And what's the nature of Hudson Odoi's injury? It was Achilles and then it became a back injury, is that right? Yeah. And yeah how, that's how would you rate his chance? Doesn't look so good at the moment, so it's, I think, not a matter of days at the moment. It's more a matter of weeks. Is that a setback then? It is. I mean, he started in the World Cup final. We were just talking about it. He started in the World Cup final. He had an assist in the World Cup final. And he was uh, crucial on the left side, sometimes as a wing back, most of the time as a, as a winger. And um, it was uh, one of the seasons where he had the most, the most play time, I would say, and, and was growing into it. And suddenly he stopped his season. Not his fault, of course, but of course it's, uh, it's an upset. Two defeats now in a row, seven goals conceded. Yeah. How concerned are you? Well, we are aware of it and we don't like it. And uh, we are, yeah, I don't know if we are concerned, but, but uh, this is very untypical for us. And, and we had a look into it. We talked to the team about it. We, we constantly try to, to figure out how we, can, how we can improve. And then we need to uh, stop the what is it? Stop this kind of direction and stop the, the development um, as soon as possible. And, and the best possibility is, of course, tomorrow. It's it's very not not like us to to defend like this and concede so many goals. And, and that's why it's it's we didn't see it coming because it was not the case before national break and and, and these two matches within. Uh, within whatever, five days, four days, very untypical. And that's why not so easy to deal with because it doesn't fit into a pattern. What do you put it down to? How do you explain it? Is the schedule playing a part? Yeah, but, but the schedule is not playing a part that you concede seven goals. Um, the schedule is, is challenging, very challenging, because we, we played in a lot of competition and extra competition with the World Cup and, and we played the competitions until the very end. So we are at the moment, I think, with Liverpool far ahead in, in, in game minutes. And um, and this this is a is, is a big it is a big challenge because in this period in, in twenty two we had a lot of extra times that we played. So this adds up I mean I think maybe to another two matches that we played. Uh, if you just add up the injury uh, the, the extra time in these matches. So yeah. It 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 is um, when you face teams like Brentford and like now like Southampton and very soon, very soon also Crystal Palace, Arsenal, mm -hmm. uh, who are not in international duty or not in, in uh, involved in so many games is 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 a big challenge. Um, but it's nothing new, and it, it, uh, on, on one hand, it's a it's a it's a challenge, and it is has an impact. But it's it's nothing to to talk about. It's nothing to look for excuses. That's that's the way it is when you work for Chelsea and you play for Chelsea. We, we need to overcome this these obstacles and and don't get comfortable in 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 uh, in accepting the that it's hard. It's hard. We we need to again embrace it and love it that it's hard. It's it's. It's how it is. Do you think the uncertainty over the future of the club is distracting, though, affecting the players at all? It would be a big surprise. I mean, we, we proved we proved actually that it's that it's not like this, and why should it be different now? Nothing has changed for us in inner life. Nothing has changed for us in here in Copham, the training ground and the preparation of the games. So there is no reason why it suddenly should have an effect. And. Uh, I, I I don't look for any excuse or for any reason in, in these circumstances. The deadline for bidders has been extended. Is that disappointing that it will drag on? Oh, I didn't know this. Is it? Yeah. Um, no, it is what it is. You know, it is this. <laughs> it's the process, and I'm I'm sure that the, the the people who take care about the process means our board and and government and on the other side the the people who wanna who who, who take make the bid take care and are aware of, of the urgency and take care that it is as fast as possible. But um, it's, it's none of my business, actually, and it's not an upset. I'm not, I'm, as I said before, I'm not involved heavily in the, in, the daily, in the daily process of that. So no, it's not a new concern. It's, it's the situation is, in general, the situation. And we know about it, and we, we can handle it. John Southall, Five Live. Hi, Thomas. What is the 
have you managed to do over the last couple of days? Have you had a team meeting? Have the players been allowed to wear their views at all? What's, what's going on? Well, it was not a discussion type of a meeting <laughs> yesterday. It was more like a <laughs> it was more like I, that I gave my point of view that's sometimes also necessary and uh, we take the players' view uh, very seriously and, and often into account but over the last two games we thought like it's maybe necessary to give our point of view and uh, but behind closed doors and in an in a, in a atmosphere where everybody can f can can take criticism and uh, like uh, I feel involved in in a development like this um, is is not we don't we don't point fingers and and we don't uh, look for 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 people who are guilty we're in this together uh, but we needed to point out some things in our game uh, about which we are not happy and how we could have defended better, done better. So it was about the game. It was about like, well, like, well, very like uh, about offensive principles in our game. What we wanted to do and what we lacked doing. We lacked. Uh, we l and, and unfortunately and, and a bit surprisingly we lacked structure in the last game so it was not very like normally our big strength is that you can clearly see what we try to do and what we try to play that was not the case and there was a it was a big problem because when you we we didn't then then we lacked the rhythm and we lacked the repetition of our attacks and we lacked uh, uh, we lacked the the discipline in attacking and the positional discipline in attacking and that they gave us that was a big disadvantage in counter pressing because we were not in the places where we supposed to be. So this gives you a, a big disadvantage in counter pressing and uh, in defending. We lacked intensity. So and and we lacked investment. So we um, like we, we that was the more or less like what what we saw and we we we, we figured it out at at in in details because it's about it's it's not about general criticism it's about details about situations and uh it is about trusting in 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 in, in the players I, I i love the players and i love the group and i love to be involved and we can do better together you think it's just a, a blip, you think? sorry you think it's just a blip? I, I i hope so and and we have we have of course also a lot of reasons to think so it's very untypical and there are a lot of reasons what can lead to a thing like this it's it's in a in, in a bad timing a very bad timing and it came like i said more or less out of nothing literally out of nothing because nobody was here and then suddenly we we start losing matches and conceding goals um but uh, it's it's challenging and it's for on us to find solutions and not to complain too much and not also not to worry too much so to refocus and and retrust in our in our strengths and 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 keep belief this is uh, the moments where you where you stick together and and uh, digest it it took a while because it was now two games not only one loss and um, yeah and and from today on we we allow ourselves to focus on southampton last one john how, how do you get the best out of roman and Lukaku? because at the moment he looks a shadow of himself is it is it a mental thing is it a confidence thing i think it's not problem? yeah i think i don't well, I, I think it's not a, it's not a, uh, it's not only for for Romelu who's lacking at the very moment uh, a bit of shape. It's like after after national break, we I have the feeling we we all lack a bit sharpness, shape, and 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 it's a lack of form individually, and then it affects the group, of course. Uh, yeah, it's a bit sad. But Romelu had had one good chance and one very big chance. I mean, you know, nothing else helps more than goals. Would have been, a, I think, a huge boost for him. The other thing is that uh, the best thing is to train good and and to take training seriously and 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 to take care about the process, which he really did in the in the last days. So he missed training yesterday. Hopefully, he will come back today, feel good enough. And and uh, with no pain to be to be available for tomorrow, and then we see. James, Thomas, how confident do you remain about Chelsea finishing in the top four this season? Well, absolutely confident, but but not as a given. I, I never thought about this as a given because this is the most demanding league in the world, and uh, we know where we come from, and uh, we know how how we struggled through the season and what can make us struggle, and. I still feel us in the team, and there's nothing bad that 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 can be on a, can play on a very very high level if we reach our top level, and if we if and we do this in a 
very consecutive and very very repetitive and very often, which which is very good and which is our 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 job and and which is what we push for. But if we don't reach it, we can also lose two teams to any teams of any quality. And unfortunately, we proved it in, in five days. So this is us and this is nothing bad. It's just a reminder that this is us and there is we should absolutely not feel ashamed to fight for, for and not feel bad to fight for place number three. There is no disappointment in the moment we are on place number three and, and it is a tough competition until the very last day. So uh, do I feel confident? Yes, because I have trust in, in my players and in the club and in of course in myself and my work and my stuff. Uh, but do we feel that this is a given? And uh, no, absolutely not. But it never felt like this. Due to the way that Southampton play, the way they're in your faces, the way they press, are they almost the perfect opponent tomorrow because you simply have to turn up and compete for the first minute. Yeah, that's yeah. If you if you turn it around like this, yeah, they will not uh, they will <laughs> not make us fall asleep. That is clear. Uh, either they play a 4-4-2 with a heavy, heavy high pressing <coughs> line of, of six players, which, which they did in the first match this season and which they normally like to play in their, this their usual shape. Second game against us in cup, they played a back five, which led to a man mark over the whole pitch, which was very demanding and a very intense game. Uh, we had some looks and uh, watched some scenes of the of the two matches. Both matches were on a high level of quality, very intense and very fluid from from both sides and and very active. So it's quite a challenge, you know. We have the schedule is the schedule, and and we just come from another game and 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 it's demanding. But as you say, maybe it's good. You there is there is no other way than than accepting this physicality. Otherwise. You you will you will be under the wheels. Where do you feel like Angolo Kante is at at the moment? Because it's been an inconsistent season because of injuries as well. He came yeah. off at, at half time. Do you think that all this football at the level he's been playing at over the last few years is catching up on him? I don't know. I can, I can honestly not answer the question. Uh, this is, can be a debate for for an ongoing debate, and nobody will know if it's if it's like this. Uh, one thing is very clear that that Angolo is a key player because he has outstanding qualities, unique qualities like for other player for other teams. It's maybe some strikers, central defenders, or or, or whatever. Fasis Angolo uh, is a unique player that can give uh, something to to the team that nobody else can. Um, he struggles in this season with consistency due to to injuries, due to illness. And this is also a reason for 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 in in our bit of inconsistency. Of course, uh, we we missed him for so many matches. If you look at the minutes that he was available and he can play. Now, in the moment, he's fasting. Like, is it is it fasting? Yeah, yeah. it's fasting due to his uh, religion, due to due to his belief. So maybe another reason. I think he's not doing it for the first time. But of course, if you. For many days, don't drink, don't don't eat during during the day. It can have an effect. Uh, you, of course, he he's not doing it for the first time, and he's used to it. But yeah, uh, maybe it's also a, a part of the explanation why he was why yeah we had the feeling that he is not not on his uh, highest level. If you if you compare how how much of an influence he was in the in the in the last campaign against Real Madrid. Um, um, this is, and 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 this is also nothing to be ashamed of or to feel sorry for. This is a, this is a key player with unique qualities, and and of course we try to push him and we try to help him, because we know what we have when he's on the pitch. Vashali. Hi. Hi. Just going back to the defense and the number of goals that we can let in the last couple of games. Yeah. Do you think it's a mixture of perhaps the personnel, or do you think it's more? A lack of confidence would would be very surprising because there's there was no need for lack of confidence. Um, it was a very untypical first match to lose because we were one nil up and uh, did not allow too much until then. And, and 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 suddenly the goals are very very different that we can see this also. And the goals is not a pattern. Uh, we defended the last last matches in a in a back four. Both matches we defended in a back four, not to be fancy, but just to not be pinned with too many people in the defense against not enough strikers. So um, anything can happen uh, can have uh, an influence in that. And I 
don't have this one answer. Some of the goals is, is about is also about individual behavior. It's about behavior in little groups, in, in two, three players, how we behave. And it's also about the determination and the investment def defensively. How many sprints are we doing? How, how many, how, uh, how much do we, do we invest defensively? Uh, and and we, we, uh, do we have the determination and challenges to really take care about that I don't need help to win this challenge or do I do I think okay I will be protected by the structure and uh, nothing will happen it's good if nothing happens if you lose a challenge but sometimes you know if you're not protected it gives you like the feeling okay if I don't win it here and then then it will be a goal and maybe we're lacking a bit like this mentality in the last matches um, that that it that it's really really every every little challenge matters and and that we have a, a higher higher determination and a higher investment in terms of of high intensity runs against the ball. This is where we can improve. And um, Edouard maybe has come into the spotlight after the round of the game after the third goal. Yeah. Um, you feel that perhaps has been the after effect of the amount of travel to do during the international break. Are you thinking of perhaps taking him out of the team? Yeah, he, he needs to. It's, it's, it's life as uh, life as a goalkeeper on a high level, and, and your uh, the, the goalkeeper is, is a special, a very special position in, in football in general. And the, once you play on this this high level, you're uh, anyway in the spotlight. And and when you're so successful uh, like Edu in the last in the last couple of months, and uh, you win so many trophies and have so much successful games like he has, you are even more in the spotlight. He, he was never fully fully free of mistakes, also not in, in the last season. We, we helped him maybe better. We were maybe sometimes a bit more lucky. So um, can he, of course, he can solve this situation much, much better and, and, and he knows it. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a bad timing in, in any match. It's a bad timing to do a mistake like this in a quarterfinal, in an occasion like this against Real Madrid. It's, it's one of the worst moments where you can do it because it's, it's so obvious. I hope it does not affect too much uh, his, his self-confidence because this is what goalkeeping is also uh, about, to accept mistakes and to live with mistakes and and um, go back and and help your team with 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 performance focus refocus stay calm stay confident this is normally what what goalkeepers are made of what what edu is made of and now he can prove that he's a true champion okay we've got time for one more that's it i'm afraid nick and then we'll do the newspapers yeah Yeah, there, there are different uh, types of, of, of reaction to it. Sometimes you're disappointed. Sometimes you're, you're, you know, we had a defeat against Liverpool to take a, a very, a very obvious example. But I was not, I was disappointed by the result. But the disappointment about the performance was, uh, we were absolutely happy and delighted how, how we played and what a, what a match it was. And so the feeling the next day is very, very different than, than, than after Brentford and very different than like after Real Madrid because I felt like uh, we gave a huge opportunity away. It's not, it's not normal to play quarterfinals uh, in, in, in Champions League and it was a huge night and a huge opponent and we were not at our best level. And that's why we were dis not only disappointed but also angry. And um, and, uh, and 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 you know, it's a uh, for me. It's the best to express it like it is, and 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 don't hide. And and it's anyway the best to sleep over it. So I had to face you after after the match, and uh, I was not so good in in hiding my emotions because uh, because I felt we were so like I said, we 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 were so under our own level that it was the the one of the worst moments to to. To do so, and I was disappointing because I I know how much better we can play. I, I know I knew I felt like how untypical these kind of mistakes and performances was for us, and um, that's that's yeah that that led to my reaction. But it's 
you know, it's. Uh, I don't. Uh, what was the question about? If it's a turning, I don't know. If it's a turning point, if it's it's it's. You need to take care about the process, and the process right now was yesterday to be again honest with the team and to explain your reactions and why why it's like this. I think this is necessary that uh, the players understand it and then they can handle it. If 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 the manager some is sometimes angry, if you, I think I had uh, had some reasons and I presented my reasons and and from there on we go. Nobody will lack uh, support from now on and nobody will lack my my love and 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 my appreciation for how they are as a group and for, for how they are as players. I, I love to be involved, but um, yeah, sometimes you have to handle this. This is in, in any team of the world like this, and this is in amateur football and in youth football, and it's, it's uh, in our group the same.